Uh, the next topic is um uh, uh is about the PDP. Um, I don't know. You know, the last episode we had with you was uh, when um we talked about uh, the uh the machinery of the River State PDP being handed over to not literally handed over to um uh, Wiki. But at least uh, what we say was that uh, what we what we uh, what we read then was that uh, the his his loyalists, Wiki loyalists, are actually in charge of the pre the this thing, not the governor of Ubara. But um, earlier in the week, I think uh, the the PDP National Working Committee have reversed course, and uh, they have handed over the leadership of the party, the state party, to a uh, governor of Ubara. What do you think? um about this because the governor the the pdp governors um the governors forum pdp governors forum have come together unanimous unanimously um backing of ubara and they are part of the national working committee sort of and the governor governor Bauchi, um what's his name mohammed right bala mohammed uh, mohammed yeah so um so he was the one who i think i don't know if he's the chairman of the uh, governors forum pdp governors forum but at least uh, the he was the one chairing the the meeting, uh, sort of, and uh, he was the one who, who released the statement, and uh, that that is just it. So as it is now, um, on 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 the surface, let me use that word because politics can be can be crazy. They may say something in the public, but behind the scene, a different thing is happening. As it is now, um, we have um, um, Fubara officially um. In uh, taking over the the um, PDP uh, apparatus in 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 River State, what is your take on that, Barrister? Do you believe that? What the issue of the the, the issue of PDP is still evolving. Nothing you have heard of recent is the hundred percent factual. Is still an evolving issue. The justice between the various groups is still ongoing. You must have heard that Wiki has convened the meeting of the five governors that he used during the election. He convened it this week, and uh, they were they, Mark in the Otom and the uh, Co. They were there. You must have heard uh, uh, the governor of uh, Oyo State, Mark in the, disclaiming uh, that he is not in support of the removal of Damagun, the national chairman. So the governors are split between supporters of Wiki, even those when they meet in the governor's forum, you see the statement will be moderated to convey a unity. Yeah. But behind the scenes, the governors are split between Wiki and the non wikis so the national chairman, who is actually in acting capacity as a Damagun, the governors want him out. But some of them are against that. Some of the governors that have uh, sympathy for Wiki are against the removal of the national chairman. So the whole thing is still evolving. You must have also heard that Fubara, has directed his own people in River State to contest for the governor, I mean, local government elections under the platform of APP, not PDP. Oh, really? Yes. That his supporters in River State are to contest for the local government elections under the platform of APP because there is no assurance. He himself is not sure of the control of the PDP structures in River State. So it is an ongoing struggle which has not delivered a clear victory to anybody, neither Wiki nor Pubara. It's still evolving and going forward. No PDP has postponed their national uh, executive council meeting and national convention repeatedly because they have not, the issues have not been resolved behind the scenes. If you go forward with it now, the whole thing will scatter in the public. So they have to continue postponing it until a semblance of uh, majority have hijacked or have uh, coalesced together to uh, to show up at the convention and dominate. So it is 
too early to say who has come up on top in respect to Wike is. And this is one of the cynical issues in Nigerian politics. How do you control the party structures of PDP in River State and also control the party structures of APC, APC in the same honestly. State? Where in the world can you see this kind of <coughs> cynical approach to politics, if not in Nigeria? He was given the leeway by Tinubu to appoint the uh, caretaker of APC in River State. Wow. And he is also trying to control the structures of PDP in the same River State, all with a view to 2027. And so you can see that if the party at the national level was united and clear about what they are going to do. They will not allow that situation. This man, his mind is no longer with PDP, but he wants to use it. He wants to remain, control the structures to use it at his behest when the time comes. Nobody can tell now what will happen then, but he wants to control the whole river state politics both APC and PDP, so that he will be the kingmaker, or he will decide what will happen in River State come 2027. No party think, what is done. Do you no think he will succeed? What, no party what is uh, his name should accept that kind of situation, where you, one leg is in the party, the other leg is in another party, and you continue going like that. It is the dysfunction of our political system that this kind of thing has continued. Uh, now, the thing is, I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell is going on with Atikun. I don't know why. This is the man who have benefited most from that, from PDP as a, as, as a party. That man has become, I don't get it. This man have contest, has contested an election under PDP several times. Um, he, he is one of the founding members of the PDP. I don't understand why someone to I can't, I, go with Atiku go if put side by side with a side by side Atiku. Wike is a small boy when it comes to politics. If small boy, but we now in life generally because with small boy in age, small boy when it comes to politics, small boy in everything compared to Atiku. Atiku has been a politician almost all his adult life. A sort of so he is the most experienced in that PDP as far as I'm concerned, as the PDP stands today. What the hell is going on? This man has all the experience. He, he's the father as that bit of repeat. He's the most is the I, I think among I, I think he's the only one now that is standing, the last man standing among the founding fathers. Equeme has gone. Um, some of some other people, whatever. I think among the founding fathers of PDP, um, I think will seem to be the, the last man standing. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though. Um, but the thing is that the man has the political will, he has the political muzzle. It has a financial muzzle. What the hell? How come? How did we get to this point where a small boy, WK, who started politics yesterday, just came and took over a, and commandeered the entire party apparatus? Eh? And, and it's, now, it's now going amok, uh, the entire system, of playing both sides, literally, not even behind the scene, literally playing both sides, being... The, the politi political lord or emperor of, of uh, River State that controls not just his own party, but controls other parties as well. Why uh, Atiku is just it's there waiting for another it's 2007 for him to contest primaries? What the hell is going What do you think is going on with Atiku? What the hell is going on here, Barista? It, it's very simple. Atiku did not do himself well by his continuous decamping from PDP. Remember, he would decamp, go and contest yeah, another point. Person, then come back. He did not do himself well in that regard. And don't forget, that there was a time that PDP was like a political orphan. Nobody was ready to fund it, to put it together. It was wicked that came, came to the rescue of PDP. He funded the party. He held it together. He tried to uh, make yes, Barista, sorry to cut you short. We, that, we, we all know that excuse. We all know what Wike has done. But the problem is that that guy is becoming an emperor. 
For God's sake, he's, he's becoming an emperor. You don't allow him. I, I expect the t the articles. But article has financial models and he has what it takes. He's a, he's a good spender. When it comes to, he's I a very, very generous that, person. I was coming to that because article himself is under under the under the weather now because there are elements of PDP that want to abstain him because they believe he wants to contest in 2027 and they believe is that he will not be able to deliver the party. So already some governors and other elements in PDP are already maneuvering to upstage him and uh, and uh, make sure that he does not emerge as the party's candidate in 2027. So that has undercut his power. And in politics, once the leadership, you don't have control of the party machinery, it's going to be difficult for you, even with the money that Atiku has, unless the coming convention of PDP elects people that will lean towards him. He will go into more uh, 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 this thing, more misery. He should channel his energy now to revive because the PDP is looked as today as being comatose. Yeah, he should channel right. his energy now to ensure that a proper national convention is put in place, that candidates that have sympathy with him emerge. Otherwise, politically, he will be dead in, within PDP, as still stands now, because the young talks don't want to give him the chance again. He has led PDP to defeat repeatedly. He has left the party repeatedly. He has betrayed the party on several occasions. And they look at it and say, look, if you contest in 2027, you are not going to win. So don't come and bring us that uh, bad luck or that failure again. So they are trying to upstage him now. So it's a fight. You see, if he um, doesn't, you, you if see, he doesn't put himself in a commanding position now to grab the structures of PDP, it will be too late for him. He you may see the need problem, another. Uh, the, 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 the problem with Atiku, honestly, I've, for so many years uh, he's been contested, I, I've always I predicted that Atiku can never, anyway, I've, my predict, some of my predictions never came to pass. I remember predicting that Rufai can never be the governor because of uh, his tendencies or whatever. Unfortunately, he became the governor. So, But I've predicted that I hope this prediction stays this time around because uh, Atiku is one of the menes, um we have in the country. Um, so the truth is, um, uh, what I expect of Atiku, honestly, is to play this uh, elder statesman and play the godfatherism. I don't know why. I, I, look, I don't expect him. He's, he's already losing his, he's losing respect right now. That small boys are just, small boys of politics are coming to actually struggle, struggle, fight for power with him. I don't expect, at this level in Atiku's age, I, expected, I expect him to take charge of the party, and be the kingmaker. Eh? Not, not to be fighting with, with, not to be fighting for crumbs right now. As far as I'm concerned, because let, I don't know why that man still have his eye on the presidency. Honestly, he's just, at this point, he's just being irrational. He's not, he's not telling himself the truth. And the truth is, the, the man has always been desperate. Unfortunately, this desperation has made him to be a hypo hypocrite, to be a hypocrite. He became desperate right from when he was the vice president of, uh, of uh, Bassan. That was why the both of Bassan just saw this desperation in him. And that was why they became, they fell apart. They, 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 they fell apart. And, uh, and that, is, that, that is just the reality. And unfortunately, at his age, after, the, after all these long years, this man is still, this desperation, this spirit is still hovering around him. I, I don't get it why Atiku will... Honestly, what I expect of him at this juncture, especially after losing this election, that the PTP election that he himself cost, actually, he made... He was the, the sole cause of that, uh, the loss, the, of that, that loss. They have, they, by default, he is responsible. He is also among those people who are responsible for this criminal we call, uh, we call a president, uh, uh, Bola Tinubu. That is just the truth. You know you know, you know, two things. When he allowed uh, Ochia you to be removed as national chairman, because yes. in the aftermath of the election, I think he did not think he will contest again. It, the idea to contest in 2027 came later. So he felt he didn't have much 
uh, stake in the party again. He allowed the national chairman, who was his boy, who had 100% interest in his favor to be removed. That is, and that is, that is, sorry, sorry to cut you short. That is a problem. That is a problem. That, you see, that is one of the problem of uh, you, uh, Atiku again. The man is not a lawyer person. Atiku is, a, is an, look at now, are, are you who fought for him, stood for him, now he came to the time he was supposed to fight for him, he just let him down. That's the problem. He, he's like a he very disloyal human being. Removed, from the, uh, removed in a shameful manner. Honestly. Can you now believe that the governor of uh, uh, Adamawa State, Atiku State, is rooting for the national chairman who is against Atiku, Damagun? The governor has come out to say that he is in support of Damagun. Wow. So that is a state that Atiku is uh, believed to have in his in his uh, pocket. Wow. So he he has that issue. And with benefit of hindsight, if he had nominated Wike to be his VP, I don't think today we'll be talking of uh, we'll be talking of uh, Tinubu. No matter what you say, his bad character or anything, he is a mover. He 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 goes into the fight 100 percent with his body, soul, and resources. Yeah. So if a people had nominated him, I don't think the catastrophe that happened with five governors and uh, part of this thing would have happened. It is something that I'm sure he would be yeah, regretting. Because, because, because we can yeah. put him, put him to a, a standstill. Yeah, because honestly, the truth is, um, um, apart from uh, P I put to, apart from Peter, will be honestly, um. When you come, when you bring bring uh, Tunubu, put Tunubu and Atiku together, Tunubu Atiku may be very very corrupt. In fact, uh, insatiably corrupt. There's no doubt about that. I still see him better than uh, far better than Tunubu, and I believe that Atiku could have done far better than Tunubu because Atiku could have been that kind of person who would steal money, just like what during uh, you remember Makarfi regime. You know Makarfi performed so well in Kaduna State. I don't know if you are on the same page with me. Yeah, yeah, but at yeah. the same time, he enriched himself. But that, he was that's one of the, the best governors. Governors, yeah. After, uh, uh, Abaka Omar. Omar, Omar. Yes. And you, Omar. Those are the two governors that distinguish themselves yeah, in Cardinal State. State. Yes, correct. You are right. So, yeah, uh, you see, uh, but at the same time, you know, Makafi enriched himself. There's no doubt, but he, he worked. He, did, he really did the job. Exactly. Yeah, so the same thing, I think, I think Atiku is corrupt. There's no doubt about that, but um, he he could have done better, better, far better than Tinubu. Tinubu is just not there's doing no, anything. No He's just question. amassing there's wealth. No, He's just amassing no wealth to himself. That, there That's is the no point. That, that Honestly, would have done far better than far better than Tinubu. No I am telling there's you, no Tinubu is just amassing wealth. He's not doing anything. Atiku could have amassed wealth. There's no doubt about that. But uh, he would have, he could have worked better than Atiku. Uh, sorry, for than Tinubu. That's that's a sad one, but. Unfortunately, he he just uh, they they just they just bungled the whole thing. Uh, they messed up the whole. Thing. In fact, there are it, blame is so huge that it is huge enough to go round. We have so many people to blame for this uh, for this manes we call Tinubu. This uh, we go we call a president. That man is a manes. I've become. I don't know if I if is. I, I don't. I, I won't consider him cancerous right now, because if I consider him cancerous, that means there is nothing we can do about it. But it's not a cancer, it's a sickness that we can cure. And the way, right way to actually cure this sickness is by a revolution. Revolution in one way or the other. Either revolution by the military or the revol revolution by the people. That is the only way because that man is running Nigeria aground. I can't over that I can't over emphasize this reality that we are faced with. So sad. Barista, let's let's move to the next topic.